2011's Drew Smith joins us with the details. Good morning, Drew. Hey, good morning. It's always fun and it's always an exciting time. And Packers Family Night, presented by Bell & Health, benefiting Wendy's wonderful kids, will be back for its 14th year. Packers President and CEO Mark Murphy joining me now for more on our big mm -hmm. announcement. And uh, we were just, just talking. It's been 14 out of the last mm -hmm. 15 years. It's been on Fox 11, mm -hmm. and it's a great mm -hmm. partnership, and the fun and the excitement and everything's going to be back for another year. Yeah, now we're excited about it. That uh, you know, it's the first time that fans across the state and obviously all the fans in the stadium get a look at uh, our team for the for the year. So it, uh, it'll be exciting. Well, one of the great things about it is to see the families there. We, we called it Family Night years ago because mm -hmm. it's a chance for a lot of families sure. to be able to get there at Lambeau Field. Mm -hmm. You can take the stadium tour, but it's yeah. not quite the same as actually being there, sitting there, and watching. Uh, no, you know, I hear from fans all the time that, you know, geez, family night's great. It's a chance for me to take my kids. And, you know, with, you know, number one, it's hard to get tickets to Lambeau Field. <laughs> and, you know, with the cost, uh, you know, for uh, regular season for games, uh, it's, it's tough if you bring a whole family in. But this is a great atmosphere. There's a lot of things that's not like a regular game. So there's a lot going on. And uh, I, th I think fa families, and especially families with young kids, really enjoy it. We always see the young kids, especially, you know, and it, like you say, ten dollars a ticket. You know, usually they're able to. You can bring a lot of kids. You can bring everybody. They yeah. get a chance and uh, to see all that. Still, will be a, a lot of things that we've seen in the past. There'll be the fireworks and all those things. Yeah. There will be a couple of changes this year. Yeah, that's right. The uh, the format, the football format, will be uh, be a little bit different. In the past, we've had kind of an inter squad scrimmage. Although it's you know over the years it's changed. Um, really, in looking at it, it kind of goes back to. Under our new collective bar agreement, you know, the, the teams really have, can have fewer practices, uh, really no more double sessions. So practices are at a premium. So uh, this year we decided we're going to have, it'll be a full practice, uh, so it won't be a scrimmage format. I think the fans will, will still enjoy it. Actually, I think the players will be on the field a little bit longer for the practice. And uh, they'll have 11 on 11, uh, offense versus defense. Uh, it'll be live contact, but there won't be full tackling uh, that we've had before. And part of that, of course, safety, and you know, they want to make sure they're ready. And like you said, with the new collective bargaining agreement, you know what they what that's done is that has really put those little practices uh, at a premium. But yeah. still, they will have, like you said, 11 on 11, and we'll yeah. uh, have uh, all the other things that are going on as well. We will still have the shirts off their back as well. Uh, they, yeah, that's all in. Fun. You know, it's a full day. I think uh, the gates open at 5:30, but there's all kinds of tailgating events. You know, face painting. And other activities and then you know I think the highlight for everybody is the fireworks show at the end so mm -hmm. that, uh, that's really spectacular if you haven't if you haven't seen it in person it's re it's really something to see yeah it always is and we're down there in the bowl and you know I've, this is this will be my 14th year hosting yeah. this and it's always a fun night it's always really you never know what's gonna happen you know whether yeah. we're you know Pete's gonna give us some good weather that's good news <laughs> yeah. he's already promised yeah, we, so we uh, had our run of bad weather hopefully yeah. we have we're I think we're gonna that. be good no 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 knock on knock on we're gonna well, be good. I tell you Drew one of the one of the one of the highlights of the year for me is sitting down or being down on the field for the fireworks after the family night scrimmage and seeing our players there with their families watching the fireworks it's uh, it's really exciting and 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 you can just see the the happiness and the excitement and uh, not only the 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 kids uh, but our players really uh, to be able to share that moment with uh, with their families. They love to have it as a family time as well, and you, yeah. you, you get a lot of a lot of kids running around there on Lambeau Field. Usually they're yelling at us to get off the grass, <laughs> yeah. but the, uh, that time it's okay, <laughs> right? That's right. So <laughs> one time we allow that. <laughs> exactly, as long as the families are allowed out there, that, and that's always a good time. Why has this become so important for the Packers and for community and for the outreach? Well, you know, it's uh, it's something like you said. Uh, you know, uh, it's been 14 years now, and it's kind of grown over the years. Uh, we did have a stretch where the weather was bad, and I think uh, attendance dropped off a little bit. But you know, the last two years, it, it's picked up. For us, it's a it's a way to for uh, a part of the community that maybe doesn't normally get a chance to see see football or to see the Packers in Lambeau Field. So, you know, having something like this uh, is is a real positive. It exposes us, particularly to younger fans, uh, which I think is important for our future. Um, you know, you and I were talking earlier, the people across the league look at this and say, you know, you get 70, 70,000 people. <laughs> But, you know, I, I mean, it shows the, you know, the passion and, uh, you know, how strong our fans are. Now, well, I've got you here. I've got to ask you, are we going to see Jordy Nelson locked up here long term? I've got to ask you a little football. <laughs> well, we're working on this. Okay. We'll see. We hope to. <laughs> well, here's some, some of the details. It's going to be August 2nd on Saturday night. 
And the activities, like I said, start at 530 all around the stadium. That's part of the fun part. It's in the parking lot. Oh, yeah. yeah it's that's... all over the place. Uh, tickets are $10. And uh, they go on sale June 23rd at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. So make sure you mark your calendar. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure you get out there. Uh, President and CEO of the Green Bay Packers, Mark Murphy. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, Drew, and thanks to, to Fox, uh, Fox 11. We really appreciate the uh, partnership. Oh, always a pleasure to have you here. It's, it's, it's a fun night for everybody involved. Yeah.